Good morning, my name is, uh, not Dennis, Kelsey Collins, and welcome to Coffee Walk. I'm filming in for my dad, Dennis, this week on Coffee Walk. He is up north with Richard um, going to a car auction, so we're gonna show you the car buy that we went on this week in Azle, Texas, in place of the original Coffee Walk that we do today. Um, I think I've watched enough episodes of Coffee Walk throughout the week. Mm, that's, that's about enough coffee um, to know exactly how the mixture is supposed to go. Um, it's a little, I think a little bit of syrup, usually. I like it a little sweet, but like not too sweet. Um, yeah, I think the key really how Dennis gets it, just how he likes it, it's not just the nest quick, but really the importance of it, it's the beauty of the sift. So I think that's just a mm, quinoa, that may be a little healthy for today. Um, nectar de agave, we'll give that just like a little, I think that's a good ratio to coffee in the mornings. Um, you know, sometimes we just gotta stick to the originals because patina's cool, but sometimes original's really the way to go. So we'll just top it off. That's about right. And then I'll get my I'll get my Richard stick. It's a spin. All right, so follow us on our car by today and welcome to Coffee Walk. All right, we've got another great day to be alive. We're gonna go chase another classic Mustang. This time it's only about 80 miles away in Azel, Texas. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but we're gonna both walk up and look at it and check it out. Hopefully rescued off the side of the house, so roll with us. All right, so it's up on the left and it's under a cover. So let me see if we can see it. There it is. Can't really tell what it is. It might be why it's still here. Let's see a Magna 500. It's gotta be it. All right, let's go knock on the door. How's your drive? What's up? That was good. How are you, sir? Pretty good, how are you? Good, you're Dale? Yeah. Hi. Dennis? Dennis Collins. This is Alex. Oh, okay. That's my daughter, Kelsey. Kelsey, but nice to meet you, sir. Well, so how often does somebody knock on your door wanting to try to buy it? Uh, really, it's hard to tell what it is from the road, actually. So you said, as far as you know, this is a Texas car before you got it? Yeah, the guy I got it from was down in Claiborne. So we got an M-code car like that black one we just bought. We just need three things to for me. How do you know it's M-code? Uh, it's, it's in the center of the vent. Is there an M in it? Yeah, M is very, so it means three things to for That is sticker's a little hard to read, uh, but it looks like late 69. Remember they stopped using the door warning tags in 68, so you gotta have a sticker to go off of. It's got the original uh, uh, air conditioning parts that are in there. No, I think it's, no, that's alternator, I was gonna say. So we can see if they had the temperature gauge, it's tough to find. Oh, yeah. Floors look pretty good. You got right. one in the factory tack on them. Yeah. Yeah, it's surprising how, the you know. The factory tack cars have got a totally different temp gauge too. Which is nice to see, but hard to find. Tour box is good. Good. Rear rails are good. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Disc brake car, AC. Yeah. Fold down rear seat. Fold down rear seat. Decent option car. Uh, the only uh, that, uh, the only rust on the whole thing that I can find is that little bit there. Gotta love a Texas car. <laughs> this would have almost been a cool patina car. If there was more well, blue. To the Bronco? Yeah. The blue, you know how bright it gets when you clear it? That would be pretty cool. I'll grab the piece of it. Okay. We've got a lot of stuff in there. Did it start for a build? Absolutely. Yeah. Is it a real 
real similar to the, to the Shelby cuffs except for the location. Remember the Shelby's got the brackets that come here? Yeah. Let's lock in the actual. That was the one was hard to find. Very hard to find. This is a good option car. If we're lucky, when we run the paperwork on it, if it was a shaker car, it'd be even better. <laughs> you cute thing. Yeah, you gotta hope the hood's. <laughs> you just gotta hope the hood's been changed, right, Alex? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But. Which the trunk lid's been changed, so hope it's been changed. These lock. That's even a bigger plus on the trailer. One. You wanna try your luck? <laughs> yeah. The uh, steering column. There you go, Alex. All kinds of goodies for the Mustang well, parts fun. collection. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm not going to argue with you on the price we discussed on the phone. If you'll get the title, I'll pay you. Okay. I brought cash, that's okay. Yep. All right. It always works. Deal. <laughs> and then, uh, does the race car run? Yeah. Okay. So we can back the trailer down to it and start yanking it on there? Yeah, she's a little loud, but. <laughs> I want to hear it. Thank you guys for watching. We're rescuing another killer Mustang. Have a great day.